In this lesson, we're going to talk about acute kidney injury. Now, as you can guess, this is when we have a sudden onset of kidney damage and the kidneys get injured very acutely. So acute kidney injury is sudden loss of renal function, and it's generally caused by a perfusion issue or damage to the kidney tissue itself. You can see here on this kidney, this cross section of a kidney, uh, all the bleeding and swelling within the kidney that has been damaged. Now you can imagine how hard it would be for the kidney to function and to do its normal job with this kind of damage. Now it's usually reversible on its own within like about one to two weeks. If we aren't able to reverse it or it doesn't reverse quickly on its own, it can lead to permanent damage uh, and cause the patient what's called chronic kidney disease or CKD. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. There's three categories of causes of acute kidney injury and they have to do with the source of the problem. Now those are pre-renal, intrarenal, and post-renal. So pre-renal means before, before the kidney. So the source of the problem is what comes before the kidney. Now, which means the blood flow into the kidneys uh, themselves. If blood isn't flowing into the kidneys, not only do they not get perfused and can occur some uh, ischemic damage, but they also can't filter blood if it's not there. Now, some causes of pre-renal kidney injury would be like hypotension, uh, hypovolemia, or any decrease in cardiac output. So you would see like things like heart failure, or shock. So things that are kind of decreasing our blood volume uh, into our kidneys, which is then going to cause that pre-renal damage. Now, intrarenal means that the source of the problem is coming from within the kidneys themselves. So blood flow is fine, but there's been damage to the kidney tissue or cells that's making it not work correctly. So here's our problem right here. Now, common causes of intrarenal kidney injury are things like infection, tubular necrosis, uh, nephrotoxic drugs, and that's why we need to be really careful with, with medications we give our patients, or contrast dye. Now you've probably already seen this a lot. The contrast dye is super concentrated, and it's sometimes really hard for the kidneys to actually filter out. Now that's why you'll see us give patients extra fluids before they have a contrast scan, and that's really to help protect the kidneys. Now finally, we have post-renal kidney injury. As you can guess, this is caused by something uh, happening after the kidneys. Now what usually happens is there's some sort of infection or obstruction, like a stone that causes backflow into the kidneys. Now the kidneys fill with fluid because it can't get out. So we aren't able to get this fluid all out and the kidneys start to fill up with fluid. But the problem is something after the kidneys. Now that's called hydronephrosis when the kidneys begin to fill with this fluid. And it causes damage and decreased kidney function. So ultimately, pre-renal and post-renal sources cause damage to the kidney itself, but we name this because the original source of the problem is either before or after the kidney. Now we need to make sure we keep the patient's blood pressure up. Uh, we need to make sure we keep them well hydrated and we need to protect their kidneys from injury with drugs and contrast and things like that. Now we need to treat infections and remove obstructions as quickly as possible. Hey guys, Todd from nursing.com here. Let us know what topics you'd like to see videos on in the comments section below, and we will review those as we plan new content. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or Scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.